different. Uh, this is a Sultai Dredge deck I've been working on. Um, deciding still if I want to go up to 80 cards to prevent self milling, but basically a bunch of ways to put cards into the graveyard. Uh, you have payoffs in Uro. Uh, Lazav could become a copy of Uro amongst other creatures. Narcomoeba gets cast for free. Uh, whenever you gain three or more life, you can get Silver Smooth Ghoul back from your graveyard. Uh, Lur uh, Uro gains us life. Creeping Chill gains us life. Um, so there's ways there. Glow Spore mills and then can also get us lands. Uh, we can also technically gain life through Timoret with the last um, saga. Uh, we have zombies in Merfolk, uh, Mire Trident. Are you a zombie? You're a nightmare. Uh, this is a zombie, so there's kind of zombies. Uh, Storev is something I was trying out. Whenever it deals damage, you can return a creature from the graveyard to your hand. And then a couple fine finalities. And then you have Fiend Artisan to find you some key pieces. So we can try this out. Uh, it's more of a fun deck, I find. It's for best of one right now. I think with the graveyard hate and like... Um, traditional standard play, standard rank. It's uh, like scavenging ooze is too much of a problem. Um, there's a lot of graveyard hate in best of three where most decks aren't main boarding. But we'll try this out. Sounds fine. Merfolk Seeker Keeper is also good against aggressive decks. Double Narc Amoeba. You take quite a bit of damage with this deck, but... Um, I think I'm in for the land. So we missed a turn here, which does suck. Obviously, you'd prefer to mill that. So next turn, I could have Lazav become a copy of Uro. Looks like it could be Esper, like Bolus friends. Um, here. I think we just do this. And we will eat the Seeker Keeper here. We also got a Creeping Chill. So we burn him for three and I get Silver Smoot Ghoul back. Might as well cast this. Fills our graveyard if they sweep. So I'll probably play out another ghoul this turn. Because that way if they sweep, I can creeping chill and get them back. Kazmina, they loop here. Um, let's just get rid of a Narc Amoeba. I 
I think we're just gonna try to get him dead. not hitting our we just need one more blue or we need one more green source and then we can escape either of these arrows i'm just trying to prioritize killing them here we have three zombies so we gain three life on our upkeep Teo. Okay. No greater honor than serving those in need. Put me out front. Um. I need the green source. Think here I'm just interested in trying to get them dead. This comes back. So what I can do here, I can sacrifice this, I get to draw a card. of the dead now we're just kind of f farming the value here probably eventually need to send something at this if they shatter again it kind of feels bad Oh no! How did we find the player main decking Karn? Their sequencing is off. She played Sahili first. Tell me they have like Tormon script. They definitely have Tormon script or a uh, thing. Uh, I legitimately can't beat. If they have Graveyard Hate, how in best of one do we find the player playing Karn? That's how my day's going. <laughs> Talk to the wall. Okay, so fine finality. I have a roundabout way of doing it, which is cool. Here, like they can ultimate Narset. I'm not winning this game by not going face. Um. Get Zav and Storiv. I don't want to play Lazav yet till I can copy it. What do I have left in the deck? Of course, Arena crashed and it won't show me that. Okay, we hit Creeping Chill. K 
Sage says no. I still need a board wipe. See what Karn gets here. Chromatic Ori. Sure. So I'm gonna make a Lazav, have it copy Uro. So I'm gonna mill three. I kinda want the land. Do that. Again, we're not winning this game by attacking their walkers. We need to just try to get them dead themselves. I'm really surprised they didn't just trade there. So I'm waiting here. So this game we would have had a lot better if they didn't have obviously Cage. Our ghouls come back every turn pretty much, just with our life gain. We would have had an active Uro in play. Lazav does provide us an alternate way, as well as Storv, where we're not bringing him back we, uh, to the battlefield. We bring him back to our hand, so we can play it that. That's fine. That's fine. Cool. Again, they could have ultimated in our side and be dealing two damage to all our creatures. So this is a frustrating game to be losing just based on the fact that the opponent really hasn't been playing tightly. They just happen to have in a best of one format the card that houses our deck. Opponent played this wrong. We could respond, make it a copy of Uro. Now we have an Uro. What can they bring back? They do have an Ugin that could come back with Elspeth Conquer's death. They also played it so they can't use Narset. Only have fifteen cards in library. Hmm. 
we need to play out as though they don't have a sweeper here. Mm. How many creeping chills? One creeping chill, two, so I have one more in the deck. So we're gonna decline here. Um, I actually think we hold off on Storev and just play out another ghoul here. They need a sweeper. Storev gives me something if they do sweep. They target my Lazav. Eh, I've killed bigger. Why didn't I get a chance to transform? Oh, I didn't have any one toughness. Ah! And now the Wanderer gets this going. Frustrating. This Narsic kept them alive. Just a little bit of life gain. I don't think I can get this back. This targets one of them. This exiles another. I think I've used all my fine finalities. When you run into the opponent who has cage main, or like in best of one, has a way to tutor cage for your graveyard deck. Uh, let me just restart the client so I get the thing going. It's an incredibly frustrating game. We had everything we wanted assembled, but then cage screws us up. Those stopping by. Uh, yeah, let me do that right now, Kowalski. Sorry about that. We switched decks and then the client crashed on us. And should be up now. Don't mind the name, still called Yudaro despite cutting Yudaro. Um, so this is the dredge list. Like I don't think we c in best of one, you're not really gonna main board for Cage. The opponent had a deck that happened to be able to tutor for Cage. But that was a really good game to show both the interactions with the ghoul as well as just being able to um, play around things. Okay, so other than Creeping Chill being in our hand, I think this hand's more than reasonable. Meyer Triton, Gensumari, this is like we mutate. Meyer Triton having Death Touch is very good here. So 
The trample could be a bit of an issue. I was hoping to hit a creature, to be honest. Because this is only two power. You can always do this, sack uh, a zombie. Chem Razor, you want to attack? Why are you scared, opponent? I'm going to save this in case we get a ghoul. A bit slower of a start. We were hoping for that second mill. They might be playing Scavenging Ooze, or they're probably playing Scavenging Ooze, which is just really unfortunate that I'm expecting to play like Mono Red, some Winota decks. Hardcast Migratory Great Horn. Sure. So I'm going to get... Probably just Uro. So then I just play the land tapped. I'm going to keep this Trinome to cycle. So they are Gruel. That's fine. They're going to have the Forerunner most likely. Oh no, I can only do this as sorcery. Oh no, 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 no. I thought this was instant speed. So now I'm going to cycle this trinome. Ah, oh, that feels bad. That's sweet. For next turn. Can also. No, I think Uro's the best. My graveyard is full enough that I'm probably fine. I will save this trinome. If we want, we can cycle it back. Okay, they bring a Mori to hand. So I can cycle and do that so then I can keep more creatures in the graveyard. One, two, three, four, five. This also gives me a blocker for both of these.
even if they like double block her, oh, it's fine. Sweet. Opponent couldn't beat an Uro. We had the sweeper in hand too. That was kind of a slow, clunky game. Let's run one more at this. Try to make up for the dumpster fire that was Jeskai. 11 epic noob. Sounds probably fine. Again, don't love having these in hand. Maybe we maul. I think we're fine. We're on the draw too. If we hit a green source, this is five cards in the graveyard. If this dies, it's also fine. Can we stop drawing Narcomoebas? That would be awesome. Budget. I th think I'm gonna go Lazav here because it helps me filter for land. So now if I draw any untapped source, I have a turn three Uro. Pretty sweet. <sighs> Magic. <sighs> like, is it so much to ask? Just playing out the Narc Amoeba. I'd rather keep the Mire trade in. Thank you. I just want to get ahead on Lion so I can wipe the board with Finality. You can also have two, because this is still Lazav, so I can still escape back over, uh, escape back one. I'm going to hold off on the land. I'd like to draw additional lands if possible. If not, we'll fetch for another green, and then I can go Glow Spore and Mire Triton. Or depending. Okay, so they have Winota. Throw a block here. See what they hit. Fervent Champion. Actually, let's block the dog because then they don't get Winota triggers. Kind of annoying with the first strike, but could be worse. Okay, cool. Q, Q, Q. Let's go get a, another green source. So I'm going to wait to play out my stuff because if I hit another land, I can just wipe their board. Okay, don't. So 
we'll do this. So we hit Creeping Chill. Let's put the Fabled Passage back on top. So this is only three power. Just play up the ghoul. With the ghoul, I get it back anyways if it dies with that Uro. So it's a way I can get some recycled blockers. I can't. It's a weird version. Like, they can attack in with these, but it's pretty free for us. If they attack in with Winota, I'm happy. That seems loose. Like, even if you have another Winota in hand. I only have a couple basics in the deck, so... Before we attack... I can actually escape back another Uro. Which is funny. You're a human. Oh, no, don't worry. It's my go. I get two arrows. So not bad. Got into a little bit of a meme war with the opponent. Theirs is like a budget version. You got a Menace Knight. This is definitely a deck I'll play some more. Try to explore it. I don't know if we can play it in best of three. It's too easy to hate out. We might have to switch and then just do like questing beasts and stuff in, in lieu of it. But uh, definitely enjoy this deck. This kind of strategy is fun. Um, so I'm going to wrap this one up. I appreciate everyone stopping by. Uh, we played two decks today. The Jeskai deck didn't go as well as we thought it would. Um, ran into a lot of Saltai and Winota. Let's see who's online. If we can send a raid anywhere. None of the usuals. Anyways, thanks everyone for stopping by. Hope you keep safe out there and I appreciate you watching. Uh, till next time, if you missed any of my stuff, it'll be up on YouTube afterwards. So you can always catch it there, mtg underscore Joe. Appreciate everyone stopping by and have a great one.